Hello and welcome to the Remedy Fibers podcast, a podcast about knitting and crochet hosted by me, Jillian. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I plan my fall mix by using Pinterest. I feel like oftentimes we watch a lot of these, what I'm going to knit this fall, what I'm going to crochet this fall, but are they really practical? Are you really wearing them through the fall and winter season? So I decided to go through Pinterest, pick out some cute outfit aesthetics, some cozy outfit aesthetics, and try to find patterns that I want to knit based off those outfits. Because ideally, I want to knit and crochet things that I'm actually going to use to not sit in the closet and I am guilty of making things that are not actually things that I wear out I've worn it maybe once or it doesn't suit my aesthetics and how I wish to dress on a daily basis so if you're interested stay tuned but if you're new here I live in Northern California with my husband and dog Benny I love everything yarn related and I hope you stay from my yarn journey this episode I am going to be speaking a little bit much more softer and lower just because we have a lot of movement in and out and I don't want nobody in my business so hopefully you can hear me fine and I will also be adjusting the audio if I need to but the reason why I wanted to do this episode is we are now in the season where all the youtubers are making fall plans what they're going to knit what they're going to make what's on the needles and oftentimes I get inspired and want to cast those things on only to find out at the end of the project that it doesn't fit my aesthetics, it doesn't match my body type, or it just doesn't fit in with my wardrobe. So I wanted things that I normally wear in the fall and winter season or outfits that I strive to wear that I want to wear this season and how to match my knits what i'm going to be creating so that it's easier to transition with jeans or leggings or skirts things that i normally wear on my day-to-day -day outfits these outfits are particularly guided towards work outfits because i work and i want them to be able to be aesthetically pleasing but also office appropriate so first we're going to get started with this pinterest look that i found right here and for this outfit i feel like it's a more casual maybe it's a friday maybe it's a chilly fall autumn day and the picture really gravitated to my attention because i really like the beige color i love the sophisticated look of it and believe it or not, I have been wanting to secretly make this knit pattern by Petite Knit. So this is the Elizabeth blouse. It came out earlier this January. And I love the collar. I love the polo style. I feel like it can be a weekend fit. It can be a go-to-work fit. I love how the designer also is wearing it with jeans. I often wear jeans on Fridays, not really during the work business day. So this is something that I can see myself wearing and I can also see myself knitting. If I was to knit this, it definitely will be my first petite knit pattern out of my comfort zone and I would have to pay attention to detail because I always get lost when I'm knitting something for the first time. The second Pinterest outfit that I found, I'll include it right here. I just love how cool this person looks. I think it might be Dua Lipa, the singer, I'm not sure. But the green, light green color with the long sleeve, white, and the jeans. This looks like a perfect weekend or casual look that I can wear to work, out and about, also on a Friday. And I just love that it's giving fall, but it's giving cozy fall. And I tried to look for a pattern. And believe it or not, I found a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's called the Turtleneck Vest by Red Heart Design Team. And what's interesting is... On my search for patterns similar to this, Petite Knit also has the Terrazzo slipover and the Terrazzo neck. One's a little bit shorter than the other. Those are paid for, but side by side, they look exactly the same. So if you're trying to be a little bit frugal in this pattern market, definitely go for the Red Heart turtleneck vest, the one by Red Heart, because they look so similar. Even though this one is not exactly the same, Petite Knit has another sweater called the Hazel Sweater, and I feel like it has that similar ribbed construction. It has that split hem. The only thing is if I was to make this, I'll probably omit the long sleeves if it looks right, 
but other than that it looks exactly like it just thicker ribs compared to what the pinterest model is wearing but i feel like this one is such a cozy aesthetic that i'm going for this season let me know what you think about this one in the comments below the next pinterest inspiration i'll include the photo right here and even though i normally don't wear this i always struggle in that transition from summer to fall i still want to wear my dresses i still want to wear my skirts i still want to wear my leggings but i have a hard time making this work when the weather starts getting chillier so i thought this outfit was so so cute something i can see myself wearing in the fall and winter season leggings knee high boots a skirt and so this sweater really grabbed my attention the mohair style so i went over to ravelry and i found two patterns that were kind of similar it was a little bit hard to find a turtleneck and then the blue sleeves match so i found the classic by espastrico and this is a free pattern and i love the black i love the mohair i love the turtleneck i actually don't think that i have ever knit a turtleneck i could be wrong but i don't think I have or it's been a really long time so i'm always out for a free pattern i know that this pattern is very popular so there might be really good reviews on it or it might be a little bit more beginner friendly so if you've knit this let me know what you have thought about it but it just looks like a classic simple go grab it wear it throw it on it goes with everything kind of piece the other sweater that I found that looked kind of similar as well was the port sweater by Ozetta Haley Smedley and it has that mohair look, it has that turtleneck, it doesn't have a rolled turtleneck but it has that turtleneck look, the oversized. The only thing about this sweater is it doesn't have the balloon sleeves and I think that's what makes the model from Pinterest sweater really bloom. So it doesn't have that part but I still think it's a really close match. Lastly, I found this picture on Pinterest and I just really love her aesthetic. I think this is a go-to fall piece, long flowy skirt, the little ankle boots, puffy oversized little crop thing going on. And so I found two patterns, one that I feel like matches it to the T. Let me know what you think in the comments. But it's the Mohair Gallant Sweater by KG. And I have heard of this designer. I feel like I hear more YouTubers talking about it. They might be getting more popular. This is the first time I'm hearing of them actually finding a pattern of theirs on Ravelry. But I love the look of it. I love the mohair look, the thinness. And this doesn't look like it's too see-through. I hate those mohair sweaters where you can see right through it and it's like, what's the point? This one looks thick enough. I love the neck. That neck construction looks gorgeous. And the next one that I found, not exactly similar, but I love Amy Christopher's. And this is the Felix Pullover. So I did create the Felix cardigan. I can include a photo here. And I wasn't too happy with, I think it was just like my yarn selection. It was very loose and not as snug as I thought it would be. So I would like to give it another go. And I have heard really good reviews about the Felix Pullover. And I think that in a dark yarn, even in a black yarn, this will go great with a skirt, a dress. Even the model, Amy Christophers, is wearing a dress or skirt with this Felix Pullover. So I think that this is going to be not only outfits that I strive to wear this fall season, but cozy sweaters that I hope to knit. And I think that four is attainable for the fall and winter months. I'm not going to go crazy, but these are going to be my inspiration as I'm shopping for yarn, as I'm picking designs and designers, things that are going to assimilate into my fall wardrobe and have that good transition for the cold, cozy weather that is soon upon us. So let me know in the comments below which of these four designs you are thinking of trying or if you're inspired to go over to Pinterest, create a little collage, a little Pinterest board of designs that are piquing your interest and trying to find them on Ravelry so that you can knit a fabulous, amazing fall collection. So next now we're going to transition to what I'm wearing as well as some finished objects, things that I've been working on this week. So currently I'm wearing the Wonder Cardigan by Christina Smiley and this is a altered version. I made a bolero style so it's very cropped in the back compared to the long cardigan that it's supposed to be. But it is cashmere and it goes great with dresses so uh, this is my go-to office piece. But as for finished objects, I was able to spin this past weekend and this yarn I picked up from a local 
sheep ranch so this is sheep wool that i spun and this is from jacob sheep and this is the natural brown color it's so beautiful it's been on single single bobbins for months now and i finally did a two ply it still has to soak but i have about i want to say 200 to 250 yards of this and this was a little piece that was left over i still have one full bobbin of singles so i might have to apply that on itself but after i let it soak of course it's gonna bloom it's gonna shrink in yardage so i think i might have enough to make a hat maybe a little cow but i don't have a lot of yardage even though it looks like there is a lot it smells good it feels good it's very soft and i think i'm gonna try to get back into spinning i took a long break over the summer but it really brings me so much joy i daydream about spinning after work i just want to go to my spinning wheel I also was able to work on a second mushroom so now I have two these are being gifted away and I would say the actually this is my third mushroom and this one is much better much sturdier compared to the other two that I've made so more mushrooms to come as for works in progress I was able to start working on some of my yarn that I hand spun and I kind of got stuck because I wanted to recreate a cardigan that I already have but as I'm crocheting along the material is very tight it's probably over plied over spun lots of twists in there and it's very tight and I'm not sure if it's going to be comfortable to be a garment piece so let me know if you have any ideas I do have three balls of this so I'm thinking it could be a blanket but what I want to give someone a stiff thick blanket I was thinking maybe it could be a pillowcase it could be a scarf and hat set and it'll just be a little bit on the thicker more stiff side so I'm a little stuck it's very beautiful I want to use it for something and practice with my hand spun but it's not wanting to be what I thought it was going to be so if you have any ideas comment down below on what you think I should make out of this yarn Last but not least, I have finally reached sleeve separation for my Captiva crop by Laura Murphy and I have it here. I'm so happy with it. This is how it's looking so far. I'll also try it on for you, but as you can see, I've already reached sleeve separation. For this pattern, I am using cotton yarn. I want to say it's Severin fingering from Terrapin Fiber Works. It's hand dyed cotton and it's going good. I did crochet size two, but I think I could have been fine crocheting a size one because it's a little bit more oversized than I thought it would be. So this is how it's looking so far. I have already reached sleeve separation and eventually I will come back to finish off the sleeves. But it's pretty much past my bust and so now I just have to elongate the body, do the sleeves and this should be done in no time. So I will be able to wear it for this summer season right before we head into the chilly weather. Right now it's in the very high 90s and thank goodness next week we're going to be in the mid 80s. So I'll still be able to have some wear out of this and hopefully I love the finished project because my last one was okay. It wasn't the love of my life, my greatest joy because of the pilling. So I'm hoping I have a better experience with this but since it's been a while since I narrow crochet I am gonna give myself love and kindness and hopefully be inspired to create pieces that I love and incorporate them into my wardrobe more so this season but that's all that I have for this week I have to wrap it up because I am in a little bit of a time crunch the battery is dying I have to cook dinner the sun is fading away but I appreciate you stopping by I hope that you and your family are happy healthy and safe and talk to you soon take care bye Thank you.